I've been doing prints uh, as a, you know, kind of um, s parallel um, process since I was in school, and so the the work with the prints and the work in paintings and the work in watercolors and so on they they sort of parallel each other and they and they kind of go back and forth um, an image that I or a process or something that I'm, I'm dealing with and in making a print maybe suggest something that might happen as a you know as a watercolor or in, in a painting and and vice versa i think of etching as being you know essentially linear which of course it's not but and but i tend to think tonally and so i've had to uh, you know figure out a way of um drawing tonally but doing it in a way that I could kind of control so that's why I came up with the soft ground. The images are um, things that are familiar to me for whatever reason you know sometimes it's because it's near where I live I mean, for, frequently that's what it is but uh, sometimes it's um, things that I spot on my uh, routes around town there's something that seems interesting and, and appropriate to what I'm doing. And, then, and sometimes I, I'll revisit areas that I've spent a lot of time, you know, like when I, where I grew up in Alameda and um, where I lived in Berkeley, I'll go back sometimes because uh, after you've been away a while, it um, takes on a fresh look, go back and you see things you didn't necessarily see before, mm -hmm. so on. Um, you know, I, I'm sort of constantly making uh, photographs to work from, and um, the photographs will, you know, many times they'll, they'll uh, gestate on the light table for, you know, months or years even. Um, so part of the process uh, is gathering, in, you know, the stuff, uh, but just because I photograph it doesn't mean it I'll end up using it. I shoot a lot more stuff than I actually um, will use.